Let's watch it. Why Space Marine 2 will supersize your nuts? Chat, you need to get your balls embiggened. Embiggened balls. I'm ready. Disclaimer, if you know the 40k lore, this video will probably give you an aneurysm. <laughs> Spider-Man 2 is really just a fantastic game with an incredible story about friendship, what it means to clean up your house. Oh, Spider-Man uh -oh. 2 is going to fill you up with so much testosterone, you're going to grow a third <laughs> nut. It's spare tire, baby. You know what I'm talking about, Pip. This game's going to get you going to the gym on Old a spice. Sunday. This will get your peaches looking like a forest before the McDonaldorium comes in to add a 400th <laughs> location. CMJ's jawline, that jaw's folded 1,000 times. That could cut through a cinder block. And you know... I really don't like what they did to her, man. How she got that? By playing Space Marine 2 for a hundred hours. And also probably about a hundred hours of Jaws or size. So Is that real? There's no way! What the fuck? Also probably about a hundred hours of Jaws or size. Oh, Somebody get a sword okay. and use that thing as a whetstone. Space Marine 2 is the antidote to loneliness. The suppression of depressants. The cure for the common man that craves just one moment of absolute... Victory. So if you're complaining yeah. that this game isn't hard enough, fuck off on back to Dark Souls and every mm, other mm, Souls like mm. that comes out every time Miyazaki takes a shit. Space Marine. <laughs> Marine 2 is for the dudes that don't have a humiliation kink and need to get their balls stomped on at night because life fucks them enough during the day. They want a fire extinguisher for their pain, Can't not a reward CBT. for taking on more. Space Marine 2 is for the dudes that don't care about a 40 hour story about sad gods learning how to live, laugh, and love again. They want. To serve a yes! god and extend the endangered species list in his care. name. Space Marine 2 is for those that know the world. The world is the only true world. You understand it from the air for years. You guys start laughing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
hourglass. Some people get 15 minutes of fame. Imperial Guardsmen get 15 minutes of life. You want a real Oh shit, there goes another one. How's the War <laughs> Goblin do? Oh, he's dead. But let's talk about gameplay. The combat has gotten even oh, better oh, than the oh, first one. As soon as you boot up this game and get that first chainsword takedown, that third nut's gonna drop like Ubisoft stock. Beat the How's it doing, by the way? How is Ubisoft stock doing? game and you might just collect all the Dragon Ball. <laughs> Space Marine 2 plays like a dopamine fire to soul train. You boot it up and it's hard to hop game. off because it has so much momentum and the core combat is so much fun. And you keep wanting just one more takedown, just one more mission. I should buy this game for my brother. He loves Warhammer. Eating. Fuck sleeping. You know what you can't do while you're eating? And it's a short game, too, or like relatively short. It's got replayability, but yeah. Getting coal in the soul train to run over a hundred bugs. You know what you can't do while you're sleeping? Evaporate your enemies by running through them. Who needs dreams Little when your reality tank. is a power fantasy? Rim sleep, bitch, I got a rimming ton. The Emperor needs you, brother. Are you mad enough to answer the call? Oh, please, yeah. no, protection of this call will result in death. Immediate death. Also, this is not a toll free call. You're gonna have to pay that, too. A big reason for why this combat feels so good. <laughs> is because Space Marines are the embodiment of impact. Space Marines are big, chunky, 600-pound, muscle-bound Bible thumpers. They run slow, hit hard, and they leverage roid rage to hit even harder. You see a horde, you feel bad for the horde. Yes, you're incapable of taking cover because you are the cover. It still plays like the bastard child of God of War and Gears of War, but now you get even more toys like parrying, yoinking, counter shots, and dodging to help set up even That's more sick. takedowns. And they have bosses too. Wow, there's a Horde too, man. A little bit of Left 4 Dead gameplay, shooting shit, yeah. Which I takes us that. into the next thing that puts Space Marine 2 above the ever increasing <laughs> amount of bug killing games takedown. Is that. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Hello? Put Space Marine 2 above the ever increasing amount of bug killing games. What the actual freak? Would use bug footage, but I refuse to fight anything but the robots. I didn't know you could uh, mod hell divers like this. Games takedown. Is yeah. that one bug keep annoying you? The difference between hell divers. And space Marines is that Hell Divers will kill that bug. Space Marines will annihilate them. Look at that takedown. That's what annihilating takedown. Oh, God, yeah. Shut the fuck up, Ashley. No fleets talking now. Turn the fleets talking now. Rip it in half. Rip its face off. Rip out its fang and shank him ten times. Systematically disassemble every last cell in that thing's body. If your nuts don't tingle just looking at this, uninstall them. Double it and give them to the next guy. That is, I watched Aspen play this a little bit. <laughs> Man, what a pause. Anyway, I was watching Aspen play it and it was great. Sure, there's a joy in killing it, but there is an absolute climax in annihilation. Especially with all this ministry love, pause. please. Look away for a second. Especially with all this gore. This is like one of Quentin Tarantino's wet dreams. Without the feet, without the feet ministry. Keep going. Why not? We need feet though. Looking that way. Why the need for so much gruesome graphic violence? Why not let us- Because it's so much fun, Jim! <laughs> Dude, Quentin Tarantino is actually crazy though, for real. Get it, you As for the weapons- st He casted Uma Thurman just because she's got big, massive fucking stompers. No joke. Yeah, every female cast like that has, is like- if there's a hot female character in the movie, she usually has her feet on the screen, even for, like, for a little bit. And he casted himself d as a guy that has his fucking face stuffed with toes! Look it up! Yes, he went- he casted himself as an actor in his own movie to suck on a uh, famous model's feet. Yeah, Selma Hayek or whatever her name is. Yep. Starting with the melee, you got the power sword, you got your power fist, you got your power hammer. But you know this, why they don't have this. to call it a power chain sword? Because they don't need to convince you. They don't have to subliminally program you just to take a spin. Catch one of these Xenos on your blade and you'll see the power. It's reliable, it's brutal, and when your gore system looks it's like this, chatters. it's the only way to go. Guns-wise, surprisingly, the plasma weapons in this game are pretty good. But they are still plasma weapons, so fuck every last one of them. I don't wait in line, I don't wait for my turn to speak, and I... 
don't wait for marriage. If I go to the airport and my plane isn't there, I leave. I won't be disrespected like that. Henceforth, why would I wait for my gun to charge up? Because that is a very male thing to do. It's like, I need it now. It does good damage because it's better than every other pistol. I refuse on principle. And that's why the melt -a gun and the heavy melt -a gun are the only guns I recognize now that the storm bolter didn't make a return. See a horde coming your way? What horde? Cute damage numbers. <laughs> I am God. Also, the melt -a gun's broken in a very helpful way that I'm not going to say because the haters will sabotage me. But I'm going to hint that it's on the screen right now. And Saber, if you Damn. fix this shit if I, after after my elite high tier commendation of it, I swear to God, ah! another fantastic thing about this game is the set pieces. Now, I hate to get all Hollywood oh on you. God. You get all flaccid. Start talking like someone who yanks it to master class. The shake weight, huh? But the set pieces in this game are awesome. There's armies fighting, tanks rolling, bombs. And they're real, too. Like, them coming, like, through the bridge over here. That's the real. in this game are awesome. There's armies... I, I love that. I love that a lot. There's not a lot of games that do this anymore. I think the last one was maybe, like, Bioshock Infinite that I remember. Where you could, like, see the hordes coming and stuff from the distance, and they're actually... They're not, like, you know, the fake background ones. Fighting tanks, rolling bombs, dropping bodies, burning. You have to do an escort mission, but you're not escorting some damsel in distress. You're escorting a damsel causing distress. A big old mechanized beauty. I think a field fourth nut coming in. With how many bad open world games we get these days, I forgot just how alive a nice custom tailored linear action game can feel. But what Sick. isn't alive are these AI teammates. And I'm just gonna ever so diplomatically <laughs> say, what the fuck, and then submit to you the following evidence. Yeah, get him, boy. Yeah, Dougie bitch about the freaking... NPC's getting stuck, man. Or get a war. Now, now get that tech set. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm out of here. Right about now, let's say you've bought Space Marine 2, ensured the continuance of your bloodline, but the game finished before you did. What now? Let me introduce you to the PvP mode. <laughs> <clears throat> Just kidding, never mind. This mode's actually pretty fucking shit. Let me introduce you to like the all wow, PvP what a true. bad mode. One of the worst. So bad. Let me introduce you to the PvE mode known as Operations. This is my shit asterisk. Not only do you get more missions, but you get more customization. Ooh. It's like Barbie, but for big, strong, manly, tough guys. That's kind of cute, man. Uh, it's like you and I. Brother, <laughs> does this red make my space my cheeks look big? Space my cheeks? But I'll warn you in advance, customization oh. comes with a risk. You may choose yellow because it shows off your cheery personality, but welcome to oh. Warhammer 40k, where that means you gun down civilians for fun. You may choose black. Wait, is that true? If you pick the wrong color, you're like, uh, you gun down civilians? Aw, man, what if you're pink? Can you have pink? Aw, you can't have pink. You can't have, like, an orange. I kind of wanted a pink, though. Well, wait, you can't have pink? Pink is a slanishy? Slanishy? Salamanders? Man, you guys are saying words that I don't understand a damn thing. Cheery personality, but welcome to Warhammer 40k, where that means you bad? gun down civilians for- Oh, pink is bad? Oh, damn. Okay, I guess it can't be pink, then. Fun. You may choose black because you want to look cool, but that actually means you have no dick and no balls. That's right, the- <laughs> What? Black Templars engage in Dick Chopicus Offertorium. Now, do I- What? Really? No, really? Damn. You know that for a fact? Hell no. But if enough people then repeat it, it'll become a fact. Think you can get around the accusation? I mean, honestly... Like, it's a distraction. Yeah, obviously, you don't want to fiddle with your PP when you're in battle. ...by going dark gray. Well, now you're in the most racist space marine chapter in the universe. I chose... Okay, and? It was purple because I wanted to be a pimp marine, but then someone told me that means I'm a turncoat that betrayed the emperor to get some slanussy. Slanussy? Oh, you're a simp? They made purples the simp color. That's actually powerful. I like that. Uh, I guess I'll just wait here for the slanesh to come pick me up then. And if you really want to have a good time, mix and match the colors using each one to represent a different heinous crime you like to commit. Better yet, maybe you like to commit <laughs> them all. And in that case, put the whole rainbow on. <laughs> 
on your armor. Show that you're open what? to anything. Now, as fair warning, the PvE does introduce leveling and class systems. And this does change the dynamic a bit because you have to constantly up the difficulty to upgrade your gear. And that's going to throw off the power fantasy until you can get that gear. So whereas the campaign's entirely mm. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was too fucked. Easy. Run that back! Run that back! I want to kill that boss again! Operations That's mode cool, is more man. like this. One moment, one moment. Hey, I'm dying. I'm, I'm fucking here to give you a big old hug. Thank you for dying when you did. Thank you for dying when you died. I appreciate you. I appreciate everything that you've done for me. But the takeaway here shouldn't be don't play this mode. It should be don't play this class in this mode because assault is ass. It's in the name. His special ass. ability is dying. Ass you know what? Let me exclude some wisdom on you. Here's your definitive guide to classes. You ready? Vanguard's like playing as an overweight cloaker, but at least you get all your weapons. Bulwark's the class you play when Vanguard's taken. Tactical's like playing as Titus minus all the good secondaries in rage mode. Assault and okay. Sniper's like playing as the Make-A-Wish Marines. Your teammates are just happy if you're alive. And Heavy is a class you don't think about at all until you see him at the top of the leaderboard for most kills and most damage done. Alright, maybe not That's definitive. So but I got the shit on Assault one last time, so it was worth it. And if you disagree with me, then I disagree with you, your loser Leandros loves this mode because he can lose even more that loser what a loser Dude, his Trump impression is kind of spot on. It's kind of scary. We're so good together. We're so messy. Maybe we're Thanks to the Imperium of Pimps for funding this video, and another huge thanks to all the Pimpers for expanding the Exterminatus Fund. I will see you all for another video very soon. All right, goodbye. All right, so goodbye. Good. all right, goodbye. All right, goodbye. All right, goodbye. <laughs> this guy reminds me of my brother if he did like a like a line of Adderall. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's kind of like this like when you get him going on something i don't know man he starts fucking popping off like he on how do i put it like my brother is very like pr focused and like you know he won't show his power level until like y you get to know him it when he's around his like buddies when i was like younger he would always unleash unleash his like full power level like this oh, yeah.